When founded in 1540 by Ignatius of Loyola and chartered by Pope Paul III, the Jesuits were already that year going global. Francis Xavier led the way, and he was followed by Jesuit notables Matteo Ricci, Roberto de Nobili, Usubio Kino, entering India, Japan, China, the Americas, all before the 18th century. Here is to the footprints we leave around the globe as we reach out to God's people in the spirit of St. Ignatius as women and men foreign with others. I'm Professor Littleton Alston. I teach uh, sculpture here at Creighton University and have been here for over 35 years. Behind me is one of my latest works. It's titled The Globe. It's a large stainless steel abstract globe in the spirit of the Renaissance globes. Father asked me if I would make a globe and I created uh, my globe, which is uh, slightly different and uh, a little larger than the average desktop and a little heavier. I think this is incredible. I can't be more excited about this globe sculpture. I hope this globe is a, is a source of inspiration for students and the way they can dream about their impact in the world. I had the idea, I think my family would like to commission a second sculpture, have Littleton Alston design it, create it. I think it should be the globe. A couple weeks later, Father and I met with Littleton again. He had some sketches of his thoughts on a globe. We saw sketches of the globe, and we stood there in awe of uh, this man and his work and uh, his just creative genius. All of this is in my head. All of this comes out of my head inspired by uh, Father and uh, uh, Scott, you know, challenging me to make something interesting. Um, I love that. I'll put it like this. Giving an artist materials is like giving an artist oxygen. It allows uh, the artist to breathe and to create. And in creating, we are like and model ourselves in the creator's understanding of the world. One of the interesting features of this globe sculpture is the wording, the prose, the poetry by Gerard Manley Hopkins, who speaks about the grandeur of the world, its beauty, its blessedness by God. It also recognizes the way that the world can be exploited or abused or trod, 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 as Hopkins says in the poem. And yet, despite that, something about the, the grace and the beauty of the world continues to shine through. That, that shining will be in this globe with its own sense of light projecting from the inside out on the continents. So what you will get is a sort of abstract but conceptual association with uh, the Jesuit missions throughout history around the world and how they change the way in which we understand Christ in the world and how we understand our missions as educators in the world. To meet Littleton and understand his passion his vision, his talent. Creighton's very lucky to have him. Uh, we're very lucky to have him in Omaha, Nebraska. He's an amazing man. I think this particular piece shows the beauty and uh, almost divine geometry of, of the sphere and how we ourselves understand the world around us as it's turning within a universe that is moving within a space that is infinite. The globe is what is turning us again and again as we turn to the history and try to help us to find meaning of existence, of place, encounter, transformation of who we are and who we ought to be for the greater glory of God. Our students dream big about their lives and the way they can impact the world, the way they can make change. And we see that happening in our alumni, our young alumni, very instantly engaging important projects that are meaningful to them and, and making the world a better place. We bind ourselves to the concept that the earth is all of ours and that our goal as uh, faculty or students, graduates, um, is to grow and add something to that conversation which is positive. Certainly with the globe and what the globe represents to the Society of Jesus to Creighton University, to students, alums, faculty, I suspect we've created, Littleton Alston has created something that's going to be instantly iconic again. And I suspect that uh, as the flame is with photos and people standing in front of it, 
the globe will be much of the same. This is phenomenal. I think you did it again. As a matter of fact, I know you did it again. And we've got a second iconic sculpture. We're so lucky to have you, so thank you. The globe will be glowing with its molten core of blue. I'm certain that Wilson's created an iconic sculpture once again.